he is. Big one, too. Oh, man. Whoa. Wow, is that fish pulling hard. That is a big fish. I don't know what it is, but it's big. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Cold water largemouth. Look at that tank. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you. It's it's really interesting fishing when the water's this cold and the weather's this cold. It's just a cold, blustery day, and but uh, kind of uh, going going through the process of elimination here, and I think I finally found out where they are. Okay, all righty. Here, what I've got here is the uh, it's an old one of my favorites, an old storm wiggle wart, but it's a you know, the crankbaits that don't have a real floatability to them, when the water's this cold, they're more of a neutrally buoyant, and even a sinking nature can really work. I mean, that's a nice pre-spawn largemouth there, huh? Big belly on it. Let's put you back. There he is. Got him. Got him. Got him. I'm putting my rod down, folks, with this cranking stick here, this Mojo crank it. Mojo bass, Mojo glass. Uh, to try and stop that fish from jumping. Smally this time. Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah, see they're stacked right on, I'll show you a graphic, but they're stacked right on this edge of this bar. Chunky smally, huh? Here's the tackle. I'll just hook this right up here so you can see exactly what I've got here. St. Croix Mojo Bass Glass. This is that uh, Target Cranker, 610 Target Cranker, one of my all-time favorite crankbait rods. I mean, this is as good as it gets when it comes to crankbaits. St. Croix makes a lot of good rods for crankbait fishing in, in, in their entire group of, group of rods and the entire series, but this is one of my favorites. I'm fishing with 15-pound uh, Beast Braid, Joe Booker Outdoors Beast Braid. I've got a Daiwa Zillionaire bait cast. <clears throat> 15 pound test and I've got a an old storm wiggle ward on here but I, there's a lot of crankbaits I like you'll see but in front of that crankbait you'll see I've got a, a little black dual lock snap I like that for quick lure change I also think in some ways it complements the action one last point look at the hooks on the bait real closely I always uh, change my hooks out and I've, I these these are those KVD trebles they're short shank wide beak with a with a inward bend on them there. My buddy KVD, uh, Mr. Kevin Van Dam makes them. Uh, he, he's got his name on some great treble hooks here and that th those are deadly on these little crankbaits and also uh, improve your hook ability. Now speaking of which, why would you use a glass, what is a crankbait stick? What, what's, what's, well, you know, what's the big thing with crankbait sticks and, and with using fiberglass? This is a fiberglass rod and these are really good for crankbait fishing because when these bass come up with crankbaits, there's a lot of leverage on a crankbait. And when they get when they hit a crankbait, there's a lot of leverage on them. When they're shaking them around like this, they have a tendency to throw them. When you use a glass rod, it has a softer action, a more what they call a parabolic action, which tends to absorb the uh, the shake of the fish, and it keeps these fish hooked better. So the biggest reason behind the fiberglass, the crankbait stick, is the softer action, more of a parabolic bend. In other words, a bend 
more in the in the center and the and maybe the upper 60 is the, the first 60 percent of your rod may still have power but that last 40 percent has a lot of bend to it to keep the rod bent and keep the fish hooked what happens a lot of these new rods today these high modulus graphite rods is they're so responsive that they have a tendency to pull the hooks out of the fish because they respond too much this not only on after you catch the fish but when the fish strikes with a softer action slower rod like the fiberglass style rods like these cranking sticks your whole reaction time is slower and it enables those fish to take the lure better so they it it, it serves a double purpose when the fish strikes the whole reaction thing is slower and then when you're fighting the fish the fish has less of a tendency to throw the bait now let's see if we can go get a big one and keep it hooked with all the things I just told you. Another one. Yep, they're here. There we go. Oh yeah, oh big small yep. There you go, my friends. Cold water cranking. Cold water cranking. Oh, look at that beast. Oh, that's a tank. That is a tank. Can you believe the size of this? Look at this fish. Oh, look at this fish, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is a tank. Whoa. What do you think? Does it work? That is cold water cranking. Beast. Wow, look at that small. Whew. That's why I come out here in the cold weather. 